Good morning from a sunny, bit chilly Torrey Baker this morning, it's only about 15 degrees. I thought I'd give you one of those update videos that I haven't done for a long, long time. About the new restrictions that have came into place, about the fact that bars over 50, you now need a Covid passport. Something that they brought in in Scotland, I don't think they've actually brought it in in the UK, so you do, if you want a bar or a restaurant, you need to have your COVID passport. I'm not going to go into that and what my feelings are on it. Everyone has, it's, it's very divisive, the whole situation if you ask me. So anyway, today I'm in Torreveca, I'm at the fair and there's actually more of the fair than there was before. Um, we're getting ready for the, the big, big weekend, I think it is. So the restrictions, if you go into a bar, you have to have, I think it is, Karen's at the hairdressers by the way, just in case anyone is asking and I'm out walking. Jenny is just doing her own thing. So the restrictions are basically there's a, a bar over capacity inside of 50 people. You do need to have to be vaccinated or a negative COVID test. Spain is no longer allowing you to have the antibodies, I don't think. Um, but it's just changing the changing the rules as they go along and this is coming into effect for a month and they've also changed the travel restrictions as well um, meaning that people need to test in and stuff so I don't know it's just a whole load of nonsense so it's we've been this is our second Christmas in Spain you know it's the second year that people have had to put up with us we have to learn to deal with Covid we have to learn to deal with it like the flu you know, it's just, we have to live, we have to live life. Everyone has to live life. It is that simple. Oh, and by the way, this is an outdoor ice rink. It's not really indoor, it's in a tent, but the ice would melt. Since we're in Spain, then it's like 18, 20 degrees every day. The ice rink. I'm not sure you see in there, but yeah. That is going to be an ice rink. Ice skating, calm down. That should be fun. So anyway, what's your thoughts? What's your plans for Christmas? Where about you watching the video from? In other news, in Torre Vieja, there are new bars opening, which is quite good, quite exciting. There's actually about four bars that we know of that are in the process of being done up. Um, one looks as if it might open this weekend. Who said there's no money in Spain? As they say. But no, it's looking good. Um, things are looking up generally. I mean, I believe that um, when all this nonsense finally does appear, people will want to start travelling again. They can't stop people travelling forever. You know, it's just... It's just not right. So the first bar I'm going to show you was the old bar cafe Anna Johnson, which is just behind the flea market and then obviously up there is the fountain. This bar did close down earlier on this year but they've built a brand new outside terrace which looks nice and cool, it's got a glass around it. See they've, they've opened up the bar and it looks really really nice inside. Can't wait for that bar to open. So yeah that's one of the bars that are opening in Torreveca. That one looks as if it might be opening this weekend. The next bar that's actually getting renovated at the moment is further up the street on the right hand side, it's right on the corner. So what I'll do is I'll take you up there and we'll show you that bar. It's nowhere near getting open as yet, they've completely gutted it. So it'll be interesting to see when that opens in the new year. So this is the next bar that's actually getting done, that's getting work done to. And as you see in here, you've got to see the windows, it is getting completely Renovated, completely ripped out. There's the kitchen. Yeah, they're doing a lot of work to it. See there. So that is just up along the road from Meximundo, which again is just off the main square where the fountain is in Torrevieja. So as we walk along past Meximundo along the street, you then come to the corner. We've got the Spanish. Spain estate agents, and we've got Catalina down there, 
and I'll just show you this new restaurant that's actually getting worked on to it. As we speak, and that should be opening quite soon as well. So as you come up from the square, and you've got here, you have Red Roo, which is an Australian themed bar, as you could tell from the kangaroos. There's obviously the kitchen. And let's see if we can see in here. It's got surfboards. So who'd have thought it? An Australian themed bar in Torrevieja, which should be another great addition to the area. So that is one, two, three brand new bars, all within two or three minute walking distance of the main square, which will just be fantastic for the local area. It's obviously going to give more jobs. There's one more, but it's further down the road in Torrevieja, so I need to drive down there. This is the next bar. It's had a lot, a lot of work done. And uh, as we can try and see inside, it is going to be huge. That's basically on the road as so if you're heading out towards Torre Vieja to Punta Prima, Lasagna, down that way. But as you're coming in from Lasagna, it's on your right hand side. And then obviously you've got the beach, which is just a two minute walk down this way. So as you walk down this road here, you then get to the seafront, which is right along in front of the Monkey Lodge and other bars and what a wonderful wonderful day to spend your December 
sitting on a bar right in front of the beach listening to some music having a beer drinking a wine enjoying the sun it's around about 20 degrees and on that note I'll just finish this video off enjoy your Friday afternoon or whenever you are listening to watching this video